Hold on, hold on. You said you said uh, uh, LeBron James the greatest player ever. Ever. What about Michael and Kobe? So you just gonna pass Kobe up like that? I'm gonna I'm I'm pass Kobe up. I'm gonna look at Michael. I'm gonna look at the. <laughs> I'm gonna look oh, at the. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Patron America. Yo, yo. Patron America. You. Kobe you. Bryant couldn't feel or Michael Jordan feel LeBron's shoes. The impact that he's had with different teammates, would different organizations. Mad, would you be mad at me if I just walked off the you show? Can't hey, you can't leave. Any other you, circumstance Are you aware worry, that this man that has tripled type. and doubled Michael Jordan in assists? I'm gonna assists say, make other players better now. I'm going to say one thing to you. And Max, I don't know the numbers like you do. Michael Jordan is what in the finals? Six and what? Oh. And what is LeBron in the finals? That's all I got to say. Shaq, how many did game, how how many many game sevens say? did MJ go to? Zero. 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 I'm just saying. How, how many times did MJ see the Warriors, though? Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Will you stop it? I'm, glad, I'm just Shaq, saying, though. Shaq, stop it. Shaq. He's going to beat the Warriors? Hold He's going to beat Shaq. KD, when Jordan Steph retired. Play? When Jordan yes. retired. No. <laughs> yes. They would run laps around. Somebody talking about how Giannis was going to dunk his way through the playoffs and yada, yada, yada. Listen. This man is right now, he's the most overrated in basketball. Is he a good basketball player? Man, I love him. I love him. I like Whoa. him. I'm I sick. like what he's I'm sick. You are yeah, hating. Yeah, you go from hating on Kawhi absolutely. to hating on Giannis. Giannis isn't overrated. He's absolutely Please, overrated. Please proceed. Uh, okay, Tell me okay, how he's overrated. Okay. You guys put this man essentially in the NBA Finals this year. 60, whatever win season. He went season, to the conference finals. Balled out. Yeah. Balled out. You, Two no, wins away from the finals. Hold it, chill. MVP of the you league, most likely. You put him in the NBA B.A. Finals. He did not make it there. Not just did he not make it, he grossly underachieved. Grossly. The man, oh, as far as individual matchups as we brought up, shot 29% when actually guarded by a formidable so uh, defender. You're, you're smarter than this. No, you, no, know no, no. That, you know that it was not one-on-one. Because I turned to you, you said, what might we talk about? And I said, we might talk about Giannis, and we might talk about him possibly being the MVP, and you had a reaction I was not expecting at all. Please share. <laughs> He's not the MVP. To me, uh, when you talk MVP, that means you're the most valuable player on the team. Your impact is the largest. And when I watch Giannis, yes, he rebounds, he blocks shots, he defends, he does all those little things. I love what he does. I love him. But he's not going to close out a game for you. He's not going to go out and win that big game. In fact, in the fourth quarters, he turns into more of a center and more of into a roller to the rim rather than a guy with the ball in his hands creating opportunities for others. Giannis being my MVP right now, I have Kawhi Leonard being my MVP right now for what he's been able to do with Toronto. The fact that he can come into that system and not miss a beat and to be that player for this team. Now, is he a closer? Stop it. Ryan yeah. Hollins, yeah. you're telling me no, Kawhi Leonard is no, not. Kawhi's I think, I think Kawhi's maybe, I think maybe you forgot. Hey, I no. think maybe you got hit in the head <laughs> and you forgot the fact that Kawhi Leonard is a top two player in this league and he I has like, Toronto I'm right not, back where they should belong. Talk about the MVP, which is an individual award, not a team award. And by the way, his team is having success also in the tougher Western Conference where there are no nights off. I don't know how you don't unanimously give the award to James Harden. Harden is a capable defender. Capable. Does he have, hold capable. On, let me let me correct. Does stop. he have the impact? Stop. He doesn't stop. have stop. the impact stop. Of, of Giannis. Please, please stop. 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 It's not the most improved on defense award. It's not the most capable on defense award. <laughs> it's the most valuable player in the NBA award. And to compare James Harden's defense to Giannis onto the Kupos, please, no, man. No, I didn't want you to this dismiss is where it because you you're dismissing stop. it. Stop. Stop. Giannis is the MVP. Unless you believe that half of the floor does not matter. Basketball. This, this should be easy to do. Who's better, Chris Paul or Chris Middleton? I take Middleton. Oh, man. I take Middleton you right now. Knew where you right now, in. I take Chris Middleton right now. It's, it's not fun if you're going to be dishonest. Like, we can't, we can't have a conversation if you're going to be dishonest. Would it make any Guys, is Giannis the NBA's MVP right now? No. He's not. How he's not. He's not. The, listen, let, 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 let me establish this because everybody's losing their mind. Okay. What was, uh, the, what was the premise? You said he's the, not the, in the top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll put him in considerations. He's a stat stuffer. He's having an excellent year. Milwaukee's doing good. But listen, you got to be able to close games. And what do I mean in close games? We're talking about the best of the best. The MVP award, it's a lifetime achievement award. And some guys, they have to have three and four great seasons before they even get considered for the MVP. And if you look at the race right now, this is Giannis' first time blowing up. And you say as a closer, the ball's not in his hands. That stuff in versus importance, like I said, Anthony Davis has been averaging about 28 
uh, 14 to 15. Where right are the Pelicans the right now, Ryan? As a career. Where are the no, Pelicans no, no. right now? Hey, Woody, Why, you keep Woody. going out, Anthony no, 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 Davis. I'm talking about, about Where, where, this year, where, are, they, where are they sitting at in the West? Yeah, listen, I'm not where are they about, sitting in the West? Like 12. Why are you keep throwing out Anthony Davis because, right no, now? I talk, Who is going to be the X Factor in the West? Hands down, Russell Westbrook. Why do I say that? Russell Westbrook has the talent to win the NBA championship. He has the talent to beat the Golden State Warriors. That's how talented he is. But the one thing Russell Westbrook has to do, he's got to be efficient from the three-point line. He's got to run his team. He's got to read coverages, make the right play, time in and time out. And in the fourth quarter, they have to run some symbol of offense. We might have massive disagreement. You, you believe that <laughs> Russ is such an X factor. <laughs> Yeah. Such an X factor. <laughs> Don't say that it. That his performance Don't can carry it. the Thunder over the Warriors. Oh, he said it again. Absolutely. <laughs> there's there's nobody on the Warriors that can stop Russ if he has oh. his mind to it. But that's part of Russ's biggest problem is that when he gets in his own way, he forgets everybody else on the floor. Ryan, top seeded Bucks. They take in the East. <laughs> no, man. Are you kidding me? The Bucks are not going to make it out the second round. They got to see the Boston Celtics in the second round. Do you understand that? When you look at Giannis, I love him. MVP candidate, I get it. Amazing season. He's going to struggle in the playoffs to finish in the fourth quarters. Physicality and athleticism is not going to be enough. We just raved about Luka Doncic. Why? Because he can shoot a deep three and finish from the outside. That's how you finish games out. Collectively, good group. They defend. They play hard. Great story. They're not beating the Celtics. We both agree that being a point guard in this league, or generally being a point guard is not someone that you can win. Having your best player as a point guard is not a way that you can win in this league. That goes for all point guards. Who agrees to that? Hold on. Who agrees to that? Well, we'll, we'll get into that later. The point is, he is as good as you can, or close to as good as you can get at that point guard position. So we're looking at his <laughs> stats. Chris Paul is a outstanding point guard. On the four games that he played without James Harden, he averaged over 20 points and over 11 assists. He's still very Did they good. Win those games? He went, he went into a Did bad they win situation. Those games? He, you don't, you can't win every game. I don't know, honestly. I would look up to see win a regular season. Game. Anyway, the point, the point is, we all agreed when he went down there with Harden that it was a wasn't a perfect fit because they're both ball dominant players. So I think that the value of Chris Paul has gone down significantly no. because he was in a situation where he was he was not. May I, may I, quick <laughs> Ryan, before please, you jump in, please. look. <laughs> he was in Houston two years. He was playing with James Harden two years. So we have some, a basis of comparison, right? I just put it up, pulled it up in front of me to get you the numbers from two years ago. 46% from the field to f under 42% from the field. Three-point percentage, 38% to under 36%. Mm. Like, he, he declined as a player. We're not, we're not giving a, him a lifetime achievement award. No, no one's right saying he's giving a lifetime achievement award. And I agree with you that adding Chris Paul to a team doesn't instantly make them a championship contender. But we're talking about Chris Paul as if he's bad. Chris Paul is a very, very good player. And he is still good enough to be a lead player a top two or top three player on a championship caliber team. Just because he was with Harden in a situation that was not ideal for him, we're that looking man. at him like he is awful. He can still play defense at a pretty high level. I just heard Jalen Rose say it this morning, so don't blame uh -oh. me. The man He's said out. it this morning on Get Up. He said he, he, can play, he can play Who's he gonna guard? defense of multiple positions at a high level. Jalen Rose said it. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at him. So the guy is a very, very good player. Whether he's a lead or not, it's semantics, which you consider elite. But you guys pretending as if Chris Paul is not good enough to be a yeah, leader Ryan. on a championship team. Yeah. No, so Chris Paul, Chris Paul, let him get it. Oh, oh, answer the oh, question. Chris Paul oh, oh, can't oh, be the point guard on a championship team. You, you know him over here, right? You know it's not just the, Please, the Kellerman. And, uh, when's the last time he was an All Star? Four seasons. What's when's the last since, time he's been since, healthy? Hold on, hold on, was, hold on. You going to ask a question? Was there a question mark or not a question mark? It's clearly obvious. Hasn't been four seasons. Here's the reality. When he was moved to the Thunder, the Thunder, the first thing they voice and say is we are moving and trading Chris Paul. The first thing, hey, he will never wear an Oklahoma City Thunder jersey. You would never have said something about this. I played with Chris. And the one thing I, I, I will say in, in response, Chris is going to go down as one of the greatest point guards we've ever seen play the game of basketball. He's going to be remembered for the pick and roll. But in all reality, Father Time is undefeated. Oh, He's not this the is, same player. This is why I was only arguing with Max, because those are two trash arguments. So that he hasn't made it to the All-Star game. Hold on, like, hold on, let me fix you, this. What I just let elite? you I just let you I just let what? you talk. Dominic so, is elite. I gotta figure how out. How many times what? you went to an All-Star game? Like we all know that an All-Star game is not the end all be all. It's about about fan vote and about other how stuff. Do you, so that's Dominic, not even a good how argument. Do you define, how do you define the, 
not elite. That's yeah, not even what a good argument. Defining? How do you define I'm elite? defining elite as the type of guy that I can put on a team. He can be a top two or three player on a team that can win a championship. But he can't because I just, believe he well, can't. Okay, Dominique, we just I saw, believe he can't. We just saw on him, the team? Guys, we just saw him in the most efficient system in the NBA. It's ugly to watch. It's not very exciting. It's been criticized for its effectiveness in the playoffs. Da, da, da. It's a very efficient system. He 